Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use mystorybook.com. When you visit www.mystorybook.com, this is the page that will come up. When you're ready, you can click the menu button. Next, choose Login. Students that are working with me in the classroom already have this login information saved, so you will just need to click Sign In. Parents, if you would like to create an account at home for your child to create stories on their own, you can click Sign Up. You'll need a username and email address. Once you're signed in, it'll take you back to the main page. You're going to want to click Menu again. If you've already worked on some stories and you need to edit or make changes, you can click on the Library. This is where you can find those stories. If you're ready to create a new story, you're going to click on the menu button and choose New Storybook. If this is your first time using mystorybook.com, you're going to want to follow the tutorial at the top. Please go through all of the steps of the tutorial. If you still need some help getting started on your story, Please see myself or Mrs. Miller. When you're finished, click the X button. When you're ready to get started, this is your story to get started with. You can go through pages by clicking the arrow button. You can add extra pages by clicking the blue Add Page button. Or if you need to get rid of a page, you can click the Trash Can Delete button. I'm going to go back to the cover and I'm going to choose a character for my story. Anything that has a color bubble you can change to customize to look more like you. Anything that has an arrow you can click to change what it actually looks like. If you want to make your image smaller, you're going to click on one of the outside squares and drag it in. You can also choose a scene, which is your background. You can choose a solid color or you can choose from the images. To change your text, you want to click on the text box provided. Type in the title for your storybook. You can change the look of the font by choosing the letter A. You can choose the size of your font by clicking on the T. You can choose the color by clicking on the water droplet. Don't forget to include the author. When you run out of time, you just need to log out. It will save the work for you, and tomorrow you can find it in the library. If you need any additional help as you're working through mystorybook.com, please see myself or Mrs. Miller, and we can help you. Remember, tomorrow when you go to work on your story, you can find it in the library.